Now suppose you have an app. In that app, till a particular point, you were supporting your data from a SQL database. Now after a certain point of time, you realize that you have to store some kind of data in your in a NoSQL database also. So in this case, what will you do? You will simply add some conditions in the client code that I want to get this type of data from database one and I want to get this type of data from database two. But the catch here is that both of the databases have the same data, but they are just returning it in different forms. So a NoSQL database is returning it in the form of its own object which it has and the SQL database is returning it in its own object form. Now in the client you have the different these different uh, SQL and NoSQL database objects you are reading this and then you are extracting whatever information you want to. So basically to do this you are actually reading two different types of data but the client should not be bothered with this my app should not be bothered with what kind of database is being used in the backend that's not the use case of the app app does not need to know app needs a common data structure which it will use to actually process whatever it does and whatever happens in the backend it doesn't need to care so now you shift this code to the backend now in the backend you basically what do you have to do you have to take the output from different types of database SQL database and no SQL database and then provide it to your client which is your app in a single form like a particular data structure a particular struct which you have created or a particular class which you have created a response class let's say so that's where adapter pattern comes into the picture so as you can see what you are doing you're adapting the two different types of database objects being emitted out into one single type of data response data response which is needed by your app which you are running so this is all what adapter pattern does it simply takes in an interface and its different classes are producing outputs in different forms and this adapter then converts this into a common form think it like a normal adapter I'll get an adapter for you so this adapter we have so this as you can see this is a USB-C type cable and this has USB-A type ports so this is the kind of adapter which we have so basically what it does it basically goes into the laptop and you have this USB-A ports so now this could have multiple different ports also they have been lazy in building this it could have different types of USB options here with just one port going out so this is exactly what adapter pattern does it takes in different types of inputs and produces one single type of response called the data whatever it is consumed by your application so now let's look at the code so this is a database interface it produces get data it has a get data function and which returns a string type of data now what this string will be we'll see so there are two implementations of it one is a NoSQL implementation one is a SQL implementation so NoSQL implementation it produces a DB output two kind of output and then it serializes this DB output into a string and then it returns it so when you deserialize this string you will get this DB output to object similarly the SQL produces output of DB output 1 it serializes it into a string serialization is nothing but just converting the object into a string so that it can be returned it is a very useful thing which is used uh, in a lot of different applications which you build now our component class now our component class what it can do it can call either SQL or NoSQL database and then deserialize it into DB output whatever it is there and then return to the client but to the client we just have to return a single form called data not DB output 1 or not DB output 2 that's where the adapter comes into the picture so adapter what it does it takes in the DB type if it is DB1 it gets the data for DB1 and if it is DB type 2 so it gets the data for DB type 2 so as you can see that the, it returns a object of data this data remains same whatever the database type is now in the get data for db1 you deserialize the string into that particular type of object which was there and then create the new data object which you wanted to return for a particular class which you had you wanted to return as a response to the client so this is how adapter works now the component 
will simply make a call to adapter to get the data it won't have to call any of the particular database it wants to call so that's how it basically works and our client will now just simply call this component to get data and it will always get the data of type this that's how adapter pattern works it is basically nothing but it is just an adapter converting different outputs into one single unified output which can be consumed by your client. So I hope you got this and I'll see you in the next one.